Shalom, I'm just going to check the feed real quick. All right, looks like it's good. Yeah. All right. So, um, call you me. How about Hashem? Yeah, we shy about Hashem. Rakak with Dash. Double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock. Shalom. I'm a salutation to you, brothers out here for some words of truth and sincerity. You know, I just um got myself here today going through um how to teach so that um how to teach so that people want to listen. I think that's a good topic. Um to go into and um through the spirit um it's a much needed topic so i have here a video of what i believe to be the greatest teacher that i know um that i've been taught by as far as the scriptures go and that's the apostle the heart let me um know if everybody can hear the audio as well so we're gonna get right into it If you can hear the audio, just put a plus one or something in the in the comment boy, like a, a, a thumbs up or something. Let me know if y'all can hear the audio. I mean, obviously, you know, um, these are two eating mice walking by, you know, and um you know, I just happen to be uh, teaching. I believe at this time uh, the Apostle Har pretty much just came up, and um, you know, so I began to read for the for the Apostle. And um, this is on thirty fourth and seventh, New York City. Man, you know, you know, at least hundreds of thousands of people walk by on a regular basis. So I mean, as far as public speaking go, man, you know, street speaking, you got to be on a super confident level to be able to deal with people out here, man. It's all type of elements you're dealing with. Uh, the loonies, everybody in between, man, uh, sophisticated people, you know, people with money. Then you got the homeless. Everybody's out there. <clears throat> but um, this the point in the matter is just proving that um, it takes a certain amount of uh, confidence to be able to do pull off what we uh, do. But to pull it off in a manner in which you can actually teach and not get upset, not get emotional that's a whole nother skill you know because you can be out there just cussing people out it could be a one way directed uh that's not a conversation but like a you know a dialogue or a monologue or monologue where you just kind of cussing people out but um the apostle the heart doesn't do that he doesn't he never taught like that he always uh pretty much gave some leeway for anybody to hang themselves pretty much he'll interact with the people and uh, i thought this was a good example of how um you know that that skill um can be um can be learned you can learn something from how the apostle the heart teaches man and the water y'all by shimmy shah this video is was found on a completely separate uh platform not youtube but um that's where a lot of our videos is floating around from the early uh 2010s and uh is, is on alternative sites like this one archive.org i'm gonna continue so he's dealing directly with these two edomite women ain't ain't a lot of shouting it's just shouting over the noise of the city if it sounds like shouting but he's just talking loud and he deals with them he's asking them questions he's because you know as an article as a title how to teach so that people want to listen you know every every person that comes up can be a, a a useful tool in a way in which you could teach somebody all right and that's what really ultimately what, what our job is is to teach all right and so obviously he's not a positive heart is not trying to get these two women to uh be on his side and his team he's going to use them as an example um and he's also going to teach them about their downfall and their history and there's many things that, that's going to come out but you got to be so knowledgeable about this um and prepared you got to be prepared the scripture tells you um study to show thyself approved all right and so there's a there's a reason why you need to study so that when people come up and you don't know what exactly uh they might know or 
you know, they might say something that triggers you. If you a trigger bull guy, that's not a good place for you to be at where somebody could just say something and trigger you. All right. This is second Timothy two and 15 study to show thyself approved unto you. How a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Um, in the, uh, New King James, it says, be diligent to present yourself approved to your how. Um, and the NLT, work hard so that you can pre present yourself to your how and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed. So the diligence and the working hard, there's many facets of it. One of them is to um, to deal with the scriptures. All right. Understand what you're going into so that you could build your confidence level. All right. In streets teaching, it, it, you know, it's 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 one of the many things that we do. It's not it's one of the main ways we push this word. All right. Of course, you got the Internet and of course, you got a uh, um, YouTube and live streams like this. Some brothers is on Instagram with it. But um, <laughs> street teaching means that you got the confidence and the ability to be able to pull things out of your mind at any given time and deal with the people and the elements as they come along. That's preparation. Five P's, proper preparation pre prevents poor performance. All right, let's go into the video. And, and I just want you all to check the mannerisms, check, check everything that you never looked for of a speaker and a leader and a confident individual knowing what he's talking about. Peep how Apostle Hall deals with these women. I'm going to let it ride out again. Let's start it over. So you might not be able to hear that audio. All right. So. Yeah, y'all definitely can't hear that audio. All right. So let's do that again. All right. What is a will is a way. Let's do it again. Get the audio right. Hit the water. Yep. Oh, no apostle here, uh, Wendy. Yep. Oh, you saying can't hear the apostle? I got you. Don't worry, I got y'all right now. Check it out. Y'all should be able to hear the audio now. now I know you. You just came out of. Where you come out of the heaven? Jump out of the sewer? Hey. Where y'all come from? Jersey. Where y'all come from? Huh? Jersey. Okay, but well, why did you come up here? Hey, good point, uh, Corner Wife. Yup, that's exactly what's going on here. Um, as the precept he put up, First Corinthians nine and uh, twenty-two. To the weak, I became as weak, that I might gain the weak, and I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some now if a confident individual comes up and you're not confident that means you're going you're going to be lacking you know so you can't you can't turn yourself into a confident person however um you can study enough where you have a confidence in what you're saying and that's really what it is you don't got to be a master of all things all right you got to be a master of of this the scriptures all right. In a sense that if somebody comes up who's a theologian, you know how to deal with that person. And until you get to that point, you're going to be all dizzy up there. You're going to be all kind of weary, not really wanting to speak. All right. If the head brother goes, walks off and use the bathroom and then you up there speaking, you're going to be all dizzy and weak. And to be honest with you, I'm right here in this. You know, it just so happened. I clicked on a video and I was in it and I'm right here, man. These were days when I was super weak, man. I wasn't a thousand percent confident in um in speaking. You know, I was, you know, I was bringing all type of uh, uh, thoughts to camp. You know, I had all type of weird, you know, uh, like, you know, sad energy or whatever that is. 
And so I was really wasn't in the spirit, man. I was, I, you know, I was be up there teaching, and you know, every once in a while I get my chance to teach, but really I wasn't in in the spirit, man. And I was, I was, um, I was really, um, lack of, lacking confidence, man. So ultimately, you know, you could see a big difference between uh, then and now. That's back in like 2017 or maybe early in 15. Um, but First Corinthians nine and twenty two in the NLT. When I am with those who are weak, I share their weakness. For I want to bring the weak to Yahweh Shai. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can to save some. It says I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. So, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. That's a part of what we do. You know what I'm saying? We are, uh, we can, uh, we we like the real uh, code switchers. You know, we like the real code switches. So let's go back to the video. I'm a hero, all right? We're Israelites, and this is not for you. But this is, you know, after we get finished with y'all, y'all gonna be crying. Okay. This is about, do you believe in God? <laughs> hey, he already know how it's gonna go. After we finish with y'all, y'all gonna be crying. You all right? That's confidence, man. At no point, you know, the pastor uh, Taha keeping eye contact. You know, he's like getting ready, man. You can see him rubbing his hands like Birdman. He getting ready, man, because that's the confidence the brothers had, man. It don't matter who come up now. You know, through the spirit, we we ready. We didn't see them all before. Not only that, you know, through time, but also the Lord worked us up to be uh, have a, a, a appreciated amount of a level of confidence in what we, who we're going to deal with and the fact that we're going to know more than them. But also we, we're going to deal with them. We're not just going, I know more than you. It's not a proud moment or feeling. It's just a. A readiness it's like a it's like a um excitedness that comes about it when you know what you're doing yes. you believe in god okay what's god's name what's god's name Sir, god has a lot of different names well where's that in the scripture that's it that's how you get with him he asked you then what's god's name and she said god has a lot of names well where's that in the scriptures as soon as somebody say something that you ain't never heard before or it's just some like theory about the bible you said where's that in the scriptures you see how the uh, positive hard do it? Where did you say you got a lot of names? Well, people refer to God differently. A lot of people refer to Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of a lot of people are wrong too. And a lot of people. Yeah, she threw a generalization out there. People are uh, always refer to you know God as many different names. Well, a lot of people is wrong. How about that? Catch me outside. You know, and positive hard understood. He understands when they can't deal with the scriptures, they're going to deal with generalizations. Generalizations don't work with the scriptures. We ain't up here to generalize. We up here to be specific, make specific points, man. Shalom to all the uh, Akim and Akwa out here too. Huh? No, no. What's my, what's my, my truth, my belief? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is that the most I think with Yahweh? Yahweh child with Jesus came for the children of Israel. He didn't come for all nations. Now, I know you believe something contrary to what I just said, right? You believe that God came for the whole world? Yeah. Okay, based on what scripture? John 3, 16? Not based on I'm going to make another point just because, I mean, you know, like I said, I was strolling through a few videos and this one um, just so happened to be I was in it. And um, if the if the positive heart at that point in time told me, um, <clears throat> hey, brother, you speak and you deal with these women, man, I'd be all nervous and, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, low voice and... <laughs> I wouldn't know where to, where to go and what to get into. But, you know, through the spirit, man, that's all weeded out, man. The Lord actually purges you. That's the scripture, too. Somebody throw that up in the chat room. Um, there's a pur somebody or you really not uh good enough to be able to talk to somebody about the bible and you in public and the fear that everybody looking at you um that's doubt man the lord is gonna deal with that man you know in the process of time and guess what faith patience hope and um and um prayer knocks that out too our brothers know what i'm talking about throw it up on the on, on the comment section as far as um when the scriptures talking about purge yahweh shall said i shall purge the vine he's talking also going into the vine um i'm gonna try to look it up myself as well but if somebody got it before me yep i got it john 15 and 2 let's get that real quick 
All right, John 15 and 2. Somebody put that up there. I'm going to just read it. Um, John 15 and 1, matter of fact. And then we're going to get back into the video. I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. That true vine is Yahweh Shah. That's that's exactly what your apostle the hall went right into. The true vine, Yahweh Shah. All right, we're going to keep it exactly what it is. I am the true vine, and... Uh, my father is the husbandman. That's talking about Yahweh Shah and the father. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So Yahweh Shah constantly taking out the fruit that taking out the part of the branches that don't bear no fruit. This is called um uh purging. This is another word for it. Um, in today's words, yeah, John 15 and 2. Here you go. It says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. And if you can, throw up the purge uh, in the blue letter with that word purge me. All right. With that word purge me. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to try to grab the definition for it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Here go another one. Um the white eye is second Timothy's 2 and 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Right. And there's many things that you purge yourself from some of them, you know, idolatry, the, the evil that you used to be involved with, all the wickedness. You go through the law and you read about all the all the transgressions and you purge yourself from them Then you purge yourself from. Right, as as the brother got here, the spirit of fear. That's the spirit. Second Timothy 1 and 7. For Yahweh hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, end of love, and a sound mind. If you walking around fearful doing this word, bro, you're not in a good place. You're not in a good place, and you're lying to yourself. You know, it behoove you to um pray for confidence. All right. Um, the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, the world give us the spirit of fear, but of power, end of love, end of a sound mind. Let's get back into it. Based on my own heart. Okay, well, let's hear, give me that in uh, Jeremiah. The, the heart is 17 and uh, 5. The heart is deceitfully wicked. So you got a wicked heart. You just said, you just, you're going to tell the Most High what he's going to do. Yeah, you can't tell the Most High what you're going to do. If you're bringing out the scriptures and the Most High said this and uh, thus saved the Lord that, somebody tell you, you know, well, that's not, well, that's it. You know, the heart is deceitful above all things. You're utterly wicked. You know, now you're now you're wicked. Now you're evil. Now you gotta get condemned. And the death of uh, death is for those that don't believe. Are you greater than the Most High? I am. Are you greater than God? No, God is in all of us. And only a woman would give an answer like that. God is in all of us because there's a certain amount of pride now with the feminist uh, feminism going on in the United States. You gotta un understand the majority of of women are not like anywhere else in the world when they're in America. They're different. And that, that level of pride has not been seen before. Okay. And when you when you ask somebody, are you smarter than God? Will I believe? And you were smarter than the most high. All right, it take a proud devil to say something like that. I'm waiting for the scripture on that too. Who who told you that? Your heart? Go ahead and read that. I, I don't follow the scripture. Okay, then you're lost. Yeah, okay. you it's like a friendly slaughter, man. You know, it's like when you're leading the lamb to to his death, man. You know, and that's exactly what what the apostle Hall did. But you know, he had to break down to a certain level just to just to not scare them away, man. You know, you know, it. You know, the average person is going to be scared to death usually walking walking past us or by us or you know these women. So just so happy to think we was some type of costume party. You know, they was probably thinking about getting ravished in the in the coming days of uh, uh, Armageddon. You know, that's why most women would stop by and walk around us and talk to us you know these women they they a lot of some um, a lot of them was just looking for some the bbc of the, of the night well, i don't feel that i am lucky. give me that as so a script so as, as a script to say uh well well what does the word church mean what does the word church mean okay so you got to go into words now that's a, another understanding you got to have etymology which they don't teach that in your school systems. The study of words. All right. What does the word church mean? It's to call out, or as he says here, from to call from within to out, or bring in from calling out. 
the, the word church comes from Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiasticus, which means um, basically it means fellow. It means to to call from the outside in, call out. So we're out here on the corners. So the church, the church, the church is right here. Wherever the men of the Lord are, we believe that we're the men of the Lord. We're calling out to the people. So like they two came up, all right. Give me that. Man, you got to constantly be reminded of that, even though we amongst brothers and sometimes we're not at, at, at the camp. Scripture says we're two or three are gathered. I am there in the midst. So to keep that folly to a minimum, you know, keep that little boyishness, that little, you know, happy go lucky, that folly to a minimum, man. The Lord's in the midst with two or three are gathered, man. And we, as soon as we salute each other, yeah, hey, the Lord is in the midst, man. You know, so that's when the holy conversation. It, it just don't stop just because we ain't at camp. Let's go. Give me that scripture right there. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. The heart is desperately wicked. And, and she knows she got caught. Look at her face. Smiling, man. Yeah. You know, that's the, that's the face of the devil when they get caught. You know, and you should know that. Ate the water. The brother put up the word for our clans. Uh, ekathyro to cleanse, oh, purge, ekathyro in the Greek, uh, to cleanse out, to thoroughly cleanse, to purge, right? So, to clean the most high cleans, going back to the uh, John 15 and 2, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, meaning the ones that actually giving fruit, the ones that's bringing men in, he purging you. What is he doing? He's cleaning you thoroughly. Getting rid of draws, putting you through certain hells. If you don't got, if you lack confidence, he's going to purge you. He's going to clean you thoroughly, put you through a certain situations to, to so that you can rely on him more. The most, the the way the father is doing it is he allows you to go through certain situations where you got to rely on him more and less, more and more. You stop relying on the world, and more and more you stop relying on friends and family. More and more, you start relying on your how about me out shot for the one of all things, man. He going to give it to you. That's where the confidence comes from. That you ain't got no other hope. There is no other name. It all stems from the faith that you got in your how about me out shot. That's it. Mm hmm. I like I like this one. You know, uh, matter of fact, brother, you look like you put in the, yep, the water for synchronizing it. Yeah, Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets, some some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. Call all you me out, boss, me out, shout We got pastors, we got teachers, we got men that exhort, we got evangelists, man. We got apostles, right? Beautiful, beautiful offices, man. All of them, all members to one body. Verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints. How you be perfected? By being cleansed. John 15 and 2, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. When you clean the branches, when you take away the branches that ain't doing nothing, that's the first move. And the second move is you take the branches that give fruit, and then you start to clip clip them off a little bit. Make sure all of the, the uh, nut nutrients from the roots goes directly to the more fruit-bearing branches and then they become purged you take care of them you clip them from time to time you like you purge a plant look up look at understanding up there's a science behind that purging plants and that's how the lord works on us it says for the perfecting of these saints so you're being perfected you can't just jump into this thing overnight and have it all <laughs> that's why i told you if a positive heart stepped down at that moment in time and said teach brother i'll be all i couldn't carry it them women would have walked away because I wouldn't have been able to keep that same energy because I ain't had that same energy. Call all you man, how about Shimmy Shad? That is a different story now. It says for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. What's our work? What's the ministry? A service servitude, a servantship, a servanthood amongst the brothers. We all here to serve. We're not here to look good, smell good, and we do that anyway. But we here to serve. I don't care if we have to walk up and pro, come to camp in pro kids, man. We're going to do it. It says, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shah. So it all works together for the greater, the good of them that love that you have Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. All things work together. All right. It's all going to come together.
And here's the kicker, verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of faith, man. We got to be unified. And you can feel the energy. If you really truly believe in this thing, you feel the energy from brothers thousands of miles away. Look at this brother from the Virgin Islands uh, send, sending these precepts. I feel it, brother. Can, you can't tell me you ain't in the room with me right now. You in the room, brother. We all on the same platform. The brother in the NYC, Quantum Wife, sending me precepts. We in the same body, brother. This is how this thing work. This is how this thing work. It says, uh, till we all come together, till we all come in the unity of the faith, we have the same faith. We believe in the same things. We practice the same faith and the walks are the same, right? We keep the day of atonement at the same time. We're in a unity of faith and of the knowledge of the son of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shah, whom we praise, the name. We don't call him Yeshua. We don't call him uh, all these other uh, names. We call him Yahweh Shah. It says, unto a perfect man, the Lord is continually making us perfect. That's what you're fighting for, your own perfection. Everybody, you don't, don't think that it's just for, it's a view count thing. It's not. It's about fighting for your own perfection. All right? Whether that's just uh, five people on your videos, fight for, fight for uh, relaying the understanding that you have to them five viewers, man. I remember when my, when my videos get 20, 20 views i started to before that i had a i thought i thought like shameful i was like kind of shameful as if to say like for you know for you know 25 view, 10 views man what the hell i was kind of shameful for years and then it got to the point man where it would be like 20 views viewers a video and i'll say to myself i started saying to myself you know what this for the 20. <laughs> anytime i started doing a video i said this for the 20. This for the 20 right here. And then sometimes it'll be on 40. I say, you know what? This for the core. I love that 40 here, but this for the core 20. And I still do it for the core 20, baby. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter because, hey, you know, the, the Lord is perfecting constantly unto a perfect man, it says, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was full. He was full of uh, uh, confidence, of course. Of course to do what he did. Right. And he was also full of spiritual power. Right. And he knew how to deal with uh, enemies. He knew how to deal with those that wanted to kill him. He knew how to deal, man. The scripture brother brought it out earlier. I'm going to pull it out now. It's a good time. Uh, yep. First John 2 and 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One and ye know all things. We got to. You, it's already in this, man. We got to draw it out. That's why the Apostle of the Hall went into education. Let's hear some more Apostle of the Hall. Go ahead. Who can know it? Who can know? It? Uh, Proverbs 28 and 26. He that trusteth yes. in his own heart is a fool. So you're a fool. You trust in your own heart. <laughs> but who you can't can be. You can't be afraid to just call people what they are according to the scriptures, man. You're a fool according to your own heart. That's what the scripture says, and that's what he called him out on. And this will happen over and over and over again. You got to know the scriptures, but you have to believe in them. And then you have to understand that the Lord working with you, that he's going to build you up eventually, right? And then he's going to allow you to work your ministry. That's what it's all about, working your ministry. What is your ministry? What is the gifts that he gave you? What's the talents that he gave you already? What is your level of strength? What's your level of being able to deal with the weak? The scriptures talk about condescending one to another, which doesn't mean talking down, condescending another word for it, with a literal, the, the truthful phrase of it, it's a, descend with someone and so as you deal with uh weak brothers you can condescend to them you got to go down to their level ain't no um might mighty and high and statured feeling and the lord wasn't with all of that man you know instead you know you you deal with people where they at you meet people where they at which means you gotta be you know have some type of gift of uh you know speech man i mean i pray the lord they give you this gift you know, as he did our apostles, as he did the elders, as he did Paul, so that you could teach. It's not so that you could be the man. It's so you could teach. Let's go ahead. Thinking that you, you're going to see the Lord come out of the sky and thinking you're going to be delivered and you're going to be, uh, uh, you're going to be eviscerated. Eviscerated. You know, you're going to be swatted. But who saw? Oh, Amos 5. Amos 5. Sweet she King. believes in the heart. She thinks that the Lord's coming back for, for her. I don't know about her. All right. So they laughing, man. They having a good time. Now, you know, it's comical, you know.
there's always room for humor. Even in the death of our enemies, there's humor. Scriptures talk about, you know, we shall, the Lord said, I shall laugh at thy calamity, man. Guess what? It's going to be a humor in all type of things in the in the day we in. And even these devils going to find humor in the fact that they're going down. And we not we relentless through the spread of Yah by Shemir Shah, of course. We relentless about it, man. We're going to make light of your downfall all the time, Esau. It is a hilarious thing. Just like we're going to make light of Sodom and Gomorrah to this day. That's why we can laugh at the Sodomite. Because we can make light. Your hometown was destroyed. And five cities with it. The entire five cities. You they all they will all go down at the hands of Yahweh Shem Yahushah. There's no shadow of a doubt. We don't gotta placate. When you when you come to this to the streets, man, you're basically giving um in a soft way, you're making it as simple as you can, right? Make playing upon it, write a plan upon the tables, the visions of the destructions to come and how severe it's gonna be right now. The saying is laugh now, cry later. So we can laugh with you too. Right? Rejoice. Uh, you, you children to eat them <laughs> for if they were wise, they knew they lied. And we could laugh with them, man. And I, you know, I used to, you know, I used to be super serious like, all the time, like you know, the joke. But in, in all honesty, man, the deeper you get into this truth, man, whew, you see how cynical the Yahweh, the father is, king of terrorists, Allah Shadja, terrible demon like power. You just be. You just be ready to let these people know, man. If sometimes you want to hold their door and say, this is the last time I'm going to do it for you, you better be happy before the destruction come. The next time I'm going to hold your door, you know, it's going to be five people entering your door of your house. I'm just really curious about what you're about. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not important. I'm not important. I'm just a vessel of the Lord. I'm not yeah, important. everybody want to know uh, uh, personal information when they're getting cut because they want to know where to find you at now. You know, just in case they get mad and angry. See, the Edomite woman still got that vengeful spirit. When you play her in the middle, in, in front of her friends and in the midst of people and you call her things like a fool, they want to take it out on the messenger. Hey, resort back to the fact that we just messengers in this thing. Y'all can be mad all y'all want. We just messengers. We are just don't shoot the messenger. All right. We just messengers. Okay, I'm just a man. I'm hoping that the most I save me, <laughs> but I know that I'm an Israelite, so eventually I'm going to be saved anyway. All right, now if you're an Edomite, do you know about the Edomites? Very peripherally. Okay, okay. Well, the Ed well, you, you look at you look yourself in the mirror and you'll see an Edomite. And the beauty thing, the beauty of teaching the scriptures in 2022, uh, is that you have thousands of people. Who uh, grew up in a Christian society, so they heard a lot of what we speak in. It's not like we teach them about the Quran. Nobody read the Quran, man. That's one thing about y'all Muslims, man. Y'all be walking around like people know what the Quran say. We, we, I learned more about the Quran as a Hebrew Israelite than I ever did in in the United States of America. Cause ain't nobody talking about a Muslim out here like that. Ain't nobody, you know, not in my lifetime. I met like I could count them on my hands and toes. How many Muslims I met in a everyday setting, like in a normal places, you know? But Christians, are they everywhere? This is USA. They're everywhere. You go down to the Central America, Christianity. That's what happened. They brought Christianity here, all right? Along with uh, the Caesar Borgia and this false image of, uh, uh, the false image of Yahweh Shah, as they call ignorantly Jesus Christ. So, you know, she said, I know a little bit about it. You heard her. Let's say it again. Now, if you're an Edomite, do you know about the Edomites? Very peripherally. Okay, okay. Well, the Ed well, you, you look at you look yourself in the mirror, and you'll see an Edomite. All right, go ahead. Give me that scripture. This is Amos five and nine. And for those that don't have a sense of humor, you don't even see how hum humor is a positive heart is, man. Positive heart is is a uh, one of the most. I, the man is is uh, not only a. Uh, um, a, a, a brilliant speaker through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushah. The apostle is a brilliant speaker, but if I may, if I do say so myself, he's a um, he's a comedian. Like he he's a he's hilarious in many way more ways. He's hilarious. How he cut somebody and just drag them down and le and leave them there and then build them up and then knock them down again. It's 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 like a art of work of art, you know. And and it's really through the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shah, right? Because the Father, once again, the Father 
is the father is a comedic too. And Apostle um, Gabar brought that out yesterday. The word, uh, well, at the at the his um street speaking, the word comedy goes back to comida in the Spanish, which means food. <laughs> You know, and there's a lot of references to comedy in the scriptures, of course. But um, every culture has comedy in it. All right. Even the Greeks had the Greek comedy. You know, and th and there's a thin line between comedy and truth, man. Sometimes you just got to get over yourself. You know, you thinking that there's no room for uh, comedy, uh, comedic approaches to 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 the scriptures. You, you, you lie to yourself. Uh and uh, 18 go to you that desi desire the day of the lord that's talking about you it's not there's certain people that are going to desire the day of the lord right like the disciples like the chosen of israel and the lord's going to deliver them this scripture is referring to you two and the rest of your kind read that again woe unto you that desire the day of the lord so you're desiring the day of the Lord. The Most High saying, "Woe unto you!" Or the prophet is saying, "Woe unto you!" Go ahead. To what end is it for you? To what end of uh, of it is to you? Go ahead. Another thing is, once you got people hooked, bro, their pride will keep them there. Once you got people hooked, and then you always got people like this guy in the middle of the clip. You see him just with the pink strap on, the backpack crossing his arms. You always got people like that who just because these two Edomite women stopped, he's curious now. And that's just how the human psyche work, man. It's not no need to be explained. That's just how it works. Once you get a few viewers, people just do it. Monkey see, monkey do. And this Stockholm syndrome in this country. So if, if ever you got an Edomite woman that stops or Edomite, especially Edomite woman, the helpless damsel in distress Edomite woman, it's always going to be a nigga about five seconds away from saving her life just in case she needs saving the day of the lord is darkness and not light not for everybody but to you too and the rest of the <laughs> go ahead as if a man did flee from a lion in a bear meadow or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him no escape shall not the day of the lord be darkness and not light and it's going to be darkness and not light for you two and your Edomite kind. Go ahead. Even very dark and no brightness in it. Yeah, because you've been taught you white people. There's no such thing as so-called white people. You're Edomites according to the Bible. That's your true nationality. You're Edomites. And we are Israelites. There's no such thing as black people. Like you call us black people. Look at my skin. I'm not black. My skin is brown. You're not white. Your skin is red. And sometimes you gotta kill them with the obvious. <clears throat> you gotta point them out with the obvious, and they know that they're not refuting anything no more. Do you see how subservient now? All of a sudden, they have become once you stuck through and got through there. What they what we call in the red pill, what they call in the red pill world, shit tests. All right, which is just little tests that women do, you know, to see what what caliber man. Because they know all men ain't built the same, so they got their little tests in which they try you. And once they passed it with flying colors, now they're just mutes. You see, this is the core of what was there the whole time. Nothingness, you know, just responsive to male energy. That's the feminine in its proper form. Let's take another look at how mute, just head nice nods now. That's your true nationality. You're Edomites. And we are Israelites. There's no such thing as black people. Like you call us black people. Look at my skin. I'm not black. My, my skin is brown. You're not white. Your skin is red. Just mute. You understand? The, like the faucet turned off. The water dried up. The levees went dry. It's like a, a an embargo just hit their, their mouth. And we're not allowed. Now they're quiet, little uh, um, subjectified, subject women operating in their feminine. That's where it belongs. So now just the word can come out and everybody could be at a file. Look at this guy. He's still waiting to see if they need some saving. That's why he's around. He's not hearing a word that the apostle's saying. He's looking for oh, Edomite woman to say, save him. Hebrews 12 and 16. These that be any fornicator 
or profane person as Esau, then you will be classified as an Edomite. You're an Edomite, you're an Edomite. And you're so the future of Esau, this is, so you got to do what? This is a conversation that I'm uh, interested or capable of having. I don't know the person who you know them, and I'm not engaged in this conversation, but I've actually got the place I have to be. I knew he was going to do it because he said at the beginning of the conversation, y'all going to y'all gonna run like flies. I forget how he said it. But um, listen, the word is not for everybody. It's not for Esau. It tells about Esau's end and destruction. They're going to lose it when they finally are able to grasp what it is that the scriptures are saying, not what we saying. First, they want us to say it and they're looking at it like it's us. But if they stick around long enough and they see that we're dealing with what the word says, and we about to reveal to them the end according to what the word of God say. Yo, they need to split. They had something to do. All of a sudden, there was a spark of uh, oh, time management and there's a place where they need to be somewhere. You know, it happened thousands of times over. Because the truth hurts. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. They don't want the truth. Oh, you right. Why are you going? You may not. When you going down the street, we're going to film you. We're going to read the scripture. Right. So, Wherever so you want, it's a free country. <laughs> no, no, you can stay here if you want. No, I have, have to go. Give, I have to okay, well, good, good. Give me. I while they're walking, I have one last question. Yeah, what's your? Okay, go ahead. For all Shoot. of you guys. Go ahead. So, what inspired you to come out today? The Most High. The Most High. The How about you? Are you truly inspired by that? Excuse me. Are you truly touched and inspired by that? Everything? Of course, just oh, years ago. <laughs> hey, man, positive heart is in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, one thing you cannot say, you can't take, take anything away from that, that Yahweh by Shimei Asha is working with a positive heart. All right? Because you're in the spirit. As soon as she asks him, what inspires you guys to be here today? Yahweh by Shimei Asha. Right? And she's being compelled. Her friend still got something to do, and she's sticking around. Because she knows she ain't. But look at her face now as compared to before. She don't like it. She think about her sons are Edomites. Her father's an Edomite. Her brother's an Edomite. She, she's actually doing the right thing by going and trying to enjoy the rest of her life once she realizes now that she don't have no future. And America definitely don't have no future. Yes. It was over 30 years ago. So what happened 30 years ago? <laughs> well, it was a leader. It was a leader of study. It was a leader. In other words, I didn't wake up one day and the Lord said, Noah or whoever, Jonah, go out and speak. Right. You search and you study. Just like you call yourself searching and studying, and you're finding the truth. You're finding out that your future is not going to be a good one. Okay? Matter of fact, they get ready to go. Give me, Matt. You got some? Proverbs 28 and 1. Go ahead. Proverbs 28 and 1. The, the wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are bold as a lion. So you are the wicked and you're ready to flee, and we're the righteous. And we're telling you. <laughs> and she's smiling. She loves it, man. You come to find out a lot of the women that, um, a lot of Edomite women in particular, they're just ready to be slaves. And, you know, they're just ready for that. Because they know what comes with that. All right? They know what comes with that. And they're, they're very highly lustful people. Um, carnal, lustful uh, women. They're high, highly carnal, uh, lustful. And they they more than likely haven't had what they desired. And they haven't been fulfilled sexually in their life. More than likely. And they've heard this this saying over and over. Once you go black, you don't go back. So a lot of them, you know, they it's the it's the brown skin for them, it's the brown eyes for them, it's but it's the spirit of, of the Lord, it's the vibe that we got. A lot of them is just that. And really they just, you know, they freaks that never got it that never got uh unchained, man. Telling you the truth. Really now give me uh yeah, your, your, your elite this truth from me. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Uh, so what, 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 well, you know what? No, no, no. no. Listen. Yeah. Thank you for sharing what this new fire is. Okay, well, we'll see you again in the kitchen. <laughs> okay? <laughs> when you're, out, when you're out there in the field. <laughs> You already said, we'll see him again in the kingdom when you're out there in the field, man. 
Hey, you can't <clears throat> you can't make any of this up, man. You know, um, a few more scriptures, brothers, and then uh, I'm just gonna wrap it up. Um, I see you, brother Proverbs 28 and uh, and one. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Con that came out. Um, that's what happens, man. The scriptures put up there where the word said it's like a two edged sword cutting asunder. The word is like a two edged sword. Isaiah 14 and 24. Prepare slaughter for his children. Whose children? Esau, Edom, the wicked, for their iniquity of the, for the iniquity of their fathers. How does this make sense? Because reincarnation exists. They are their fathers. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities and iniquity was hardcore slavery. What they did to our people. Now they now they they're shamelessly waking up to the fact themselves that they had the the the, Jew, the real Jews in slavery. They are shamelessly every day waking up to that because some of their favorite athletes and entertainers, yay and in um, Kyrie, are saying that we we are the real Jews. You know, hey Shalom, Zaquan, yeah, and we just getting on, we just getting on them, man, because um, you know, obviously I started out with this uh, conversation about how to teach so that people. Uh, want to listen and the apostle the heart was the example in this video <clears throat> and i'm gonna put the link well it's probably hard i'm gonna put the link matter of fact i could, I could copy it let me see if i can do this i'm gonna put the link right now yeah yeah i can see that's where i got it from and um yeah in this video man he just goes all into it how um you know having confidence and and teaching directly what you know and it never fails as long as you stick within the confines of the scriptures. All right. And what happens is the same thing that always happens. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and is the discern of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Oh, it's like y'all can see that part. Right, dividing the sunder of the soul of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So we got a job to do, man. Swing that MF sword, man. Swing it, swing it, chop their limbs off, man. Hack them. They don't know they being chopped. They think they was playing with a spoon. They thought you had a spoon in your hand. And all the whole time it was a it was a chop. Um shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna share one more. Um, screen one more, uh, a few more things. Matter of fact, that I had here. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna end it just yet. I ain't gonna end it just yet. Give me a second. Yeah. All right. So I'm about this out. Y'all be able to see this right here. Um, let's go into. Yeah, first Timothy's first Timothy's uh one and twenty-seven. Whereunto I am ordained the preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Yahweh Shah. Let me blow it up a little better than that. All right? It says, I wherefore whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Yahweh Shah and lie not. So you can't lie. Our job ain't to go out there and lie and sound cool and lie. That's what the world do, all right? The scriptures tell you put off mortal, mortal flesh, you know, mortal thoughts, you know. So we're not going out there lying. We're speaking the truth in Yahweh Shah. It's not even about us. The, what they asked about apostles, so how did you, he said, the spirit of Yahweh Shah woke me up. The angel didn't come down to me, as a lot of Hebrew Israelites out here is claiming. Um, maybe some did, man. But for the majority of us, man, we woke up because... The spirit of Yahweh Shem uh tapped us on the shoulder and told us to watch certain videos and listen to certain men. And then he had the right men around us to tell us, stop listening to these men and listen to these men, which is the apostles of Gray Millstone. It says, and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. All right, verity. Let's see that what that word verity mean real quick. I know it already is going to mean truth because the word verdi in the Latin. Let's make sure. I could be wrong. Verity. 
Verity means uh, objectively what is true in any matter under con un con under consideration. What is true in any matter under consideration? Truly in truth, according to truth. So when people ask us why we teach, you know, why we teach in the scriptures, because we teach in according to truth. What is truth in things appertaining to Yahweh and the duties of man, moral and religious truth? Right. A truth as taught in the Christian religion, respecting Yahweh and the execution of his purpose through Yahweh shop and, res and respecting the duties of man, opposing alike to the superstitions of the Gentiles and the inventions of the Jews. And the corrupt community opinions and precepts of false teachers among the Christians. Yeah, that last part, you know, that last part is what they're running for. That last part is what they hate. That last part is what they, they hate GMS for. Because opposing alike to the superstitions of the Gentiles and the inventions of the Jews and the corrupt opinions and precepts of false teachers, even amongst Christians. So that means genogenics. That means Nate. That means anybody who got false, corrupt views. Captain Tazigak. All right. Captain Tazariak, man. I ain't gonna butcher y'all names, man. I'm gonna say it like it is. Not understanding, not teaching the mark or MOTB correctly. Come on, man. Teach false teachers, man. All right. Um, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. And the spirit is what gets brothers up and ready to do what we got to do. The spirit is what give you that confidence to do this, man. It ain't. We wasn't born with enough confidence to do this. Not this. You got some of that. You think LeBron is confident. Tell him to put a book in his hand and teach the word outside. Who's confident? You think Drake confident? Tell him, tell him to learn these precepts and, and come outside. On the streets, too. You Remember, you got a lot of men that stopped going to the streets. First Timothy, uh, yeah, First Timothy one eleven. According to the glorious gospel of Yahweh, of the blessed Father Yahweh, which was committed to my trust. That means he trusts you with his word, right? He committed this to your to my trust. He trusts you with his word. That's an interesting way to break down what uh, this truth is for us, for a believer. How it was given to us it was committed to our trust that means in order to do this work the father sees you as trustworthy enough he saw paul as trustworthy he has to see you as trustworthy enough to commit his his gospel to you his glorious gospel and i thank you how it shot our lord who hath enabled me so it's all being thankful it's all thankfulness you can have confidence you can trust in your abilities you can be confident in yourself in that Yahweh Shah has enabled you. Right? It says, Who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Hey, the, it's you don't come into this thing and stay in this thing and potentially be a part of elect if you're not counted faithful. It starts with faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. That's the smallest seed there is. But then when that seed grows, that amount of faith that comes behind that, like that mustard seed, the size of the tree that grows from that little seed. Wow, man. Scriptures say you can move mountains and the mountains that it's referring to is different nations. Why? Because there's kingdoms that's ruling over the Lord's people right now. And the way that they fall is by shameful spewing. All right. It's by prophets. All right. Why did they kill John the Baptist? Because he was speaking about. I don't want to get the name wrong. He was speaking about the hair, the hair, the hair rods and their iniquities. All right. Ecclesiastes 1 and 1. So it's always, you know, the scriptures talk about where they hated him that rebuke at the gates. The gates is the, uh, the entrance to the cities, but it's talking about the leadership. The leaders are the ones that we rebuke the most, man. The wicked leaders. All right. Esau, Edom, the leaders. We skipping over the average. Uh, Edomite to get to the elites, Rockefeller, Rothschild. We call them all out because those are the, the wicked who has inherited the earth. 
Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and 1. The words of the preacher, son of uh, David, king of Jerusalem. Vanity, a uh, vanity, say the preacher. Vanity, all is vanity. Yeah, that's what a real preacher goes into. How a lot of this is worthless. A lot of things that you put your attention into is worthless. All right? Verse 8, vanity of vanity, save the preacher, all is vanity. And moreover, because, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 9, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. That which was written up was upright. All right. And that's another term for um. Uh, Jacob was a plain man doing the tents. I believe plain mean upright, even words of truth. So the so the preacher's job is to find acceptable words. The Lord is what does that. So sometimes you can get in your own way by getting in your own head, telling yourself what the Lord can't do for you because he hasn't done it yet. Romans 10 and 14. How that how then shall they call on him in whom in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear it without a preacher? A preacher is mandatory. This is not what you this is not that. You get a vision and the vision breaks down every Uriah, the angel, Uriah, Uriel, the angel is not coming to uh, sit with you, man. He's not doing brunch with you. Right. You're going to learn through a preacher and that's how you're going to hear. And then you're going to believe through hearing. All right. Ephesians 3 and 7, where whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of of the grace of Yahweh given unto me by the effectual working of his power. That's what his power looked like. When men start turning back to the Lord, that's what his power looked like. The effectual working of his power. His power working every day, every minute. Where somebody turns back to the Lord. That's the working of the effectual working of his power. Unto me, whom I am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given. What what grace? The grace that by the way of this word being by the way of him being a minister. The effectual working of the Lord's power can work. By way of him teaching and being a preacher to teach the people so that they can hear what the Lord says and believe and turn back and be healed. Unto me who am less than the least of all the saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Yahweh Shah. They were previously unsearchable. So it's not a thing in which you're just going to open the scriptures up. Boop. You got some churches out there. Just read your Bible. Just read your Bible. There's no breakdowns. No breaking down of anything. Right. I read that earlier. Second Peter is to two and five. Uh, Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Romans 1 and 9. For Yahweh is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Um, no, that's going to something different. All right. Yeah. So that was it, you know. And um, Abba Radhazah, this video was edifying as always. It was in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Call Yahweh And until next time, Shalom. Stay fiery.